get this bastard up. We're taking you somewhere lovely. What is meant to have damned me so? In the king's name, what am I accused of? Please! What? What of my wife? My little one? What fate has befallen them? Jailer! They'll be put upon a cross with the others at dawn. Pray for them. You bastards! You sons of whores! May God forsake you! May God forsake your souls! I had remained in that God-forsaken place for what felt like an eternity. Those men were not of holy stature. They wore the skins of men, but here existed hidden demons. Murderers, torturers, rapists. All these acts hidden from holy eyes in this place of damnation. It was either through too much need or a lack of attention that a small opportunity had presented itself to me. My arm had become free due to the jailer's desire to return quickly to his wench, and I was not about to let this newly found hope escape me. I pushed away from that damned stone, my restrained arm resisting their torturous shackle. Finally, my bounds had been shed. A nearby torch allowed me to witness my captor's work. My wrists were raw, as were my lips. I would need to seek water. I looked about my cell, a dark place of cruel stone and twisted roots. I gazed upon the faceless maw of that darkness then. Some would say that the devil fears nothing, but he would fear this. My escape wasn't without incident. As I waded into that cold, stagnant water, its murky depths quenching the thirst of a few gnarled roots that had crept through the stonework, I began to wonder why the guards had left the passage in such a state of neglect. It wasn't until I crawled under the beams of a nearby ruin that my presence 